Hi, my name is Jonathan. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at this, which is the Exto Wallet from Akini. So this is the Exto Wallet. Let's have a quick unboxing. You get the wallet itself, business card, sticker, uh, plastic branded card, similar one with sticky pads on the back to attach to a flat surface so I think you can attach it to something like your phone and the box. So there we have it the Exto wallet really quality feel about this it's made of aluminium or aluminium as you say in America with a stainless steel spring here which I will show you how that works in a minute. Uh, it's got a powder coat finish which feels very solid it also has a slot here which is for a key ring or lanyard attachment and there's not an awful lot to it which is good in a way because there's very little to go wrong and um, the cards themselves sit on this side and on the back we have an extra slot with a cover and that is for business cards or additional credit cards or other things which I will show you in a minute. It comes in a whole range of colours. You are really spoiled for choice in terms of colours and also card carrying options um, because it's available in four different sizes and that relates to how many cards it takes in the main area. This one is designed to take six cards. There's also a variant for four cards, eight cards and ten cards. Let's see how it works. I have ditched my normal cards for some blank ones for obvious reasons. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And the way this works is there's a little bit of springiness on these edges and it's really concealed. You can just see a cut there and there's one on the opposite corner on the other side and that gives a tiny bit of flex which creates a little bit of springiness. And that means when you push the card in, it kind of clicks in place. It's a really subtle way of holding it in place, but it works really well. So there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there is six cards and it holds them really well and they are not going anywhere. You can actually fit, I've noticed, seven cards in this one. However, these cards are very flat. If you get cards with a kind of debossed raised element where the, the numbers go and uh, I imagine if it was those cards I was putting in there you wouldn't be able to fit that seventh one in there. The great thing about this is you can get to your cards really easily. You literally just slide through them, pick the one you want, use it and then it just slots back in again. You can move them around really easily and it's really fun to do. You can, for example, move one from that that area there, just slide that on top if you want. Um, it's um, It works really well. The cards are held in place really firmly and it's really neat. As you can see, it's only a little bit bigger than the card size itself, maybe uh, four or five millimeters on each side. And the width is only a couple of millimeters on each side. So it's not far off credit card sized. And you can easily just flick through your cards, pick the one you want, slide it to the top if you want. If you want to pick one from say third row down, you just go to, to three, slide it out really easily, really satisfying click when it goes in. Um, so the way it holds the cards is really brilliant. And um, it has more to offer than just holding cards because you'll notice here, there is a nice gap there and that's for putting notes. And that can be money like this. Here we are in the UK. I've folded it into three, which is what they recommend with um, US currency as well. Um, these are actually just folded in half and then half again. And there's quite a bit of thickness of notes there, but there's no problem at all in fitting those in there. And there, your notes are held really securely, really easy to get out. Um, and um, yeah, fantastic way of just tucking away some, uh, some notes. But you can also put in there receipts. Um, or maybe even some small EDC gear. So now you've got 
um, your cards, you've got your notes, and then you've got this extra space at the back. You can see there's a gap down there. And that can, if you like, take more cards. So I've got some more here. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four cards easily there. So all of a sudden when I carry in 10 cards, which is more than I carry, I normally only carry four normal credit cards. But what they suggest this can be used for in conjunction with this plastic sheet that you get with it and you can buy a carbon fiber version of this is to use it for business cards so you could put a business card in there and or should i say several business cards and then you can select a business card as well so now you've got your cards you know it's a business card or extra credit cards but i've got a different use for this and i've not seen anyone else mention this before but this is a real bonus for me because I am a user of tile products. If you know what tile is, it's a finder device that allows you to find lost items, if you like, or items you've mislaid around the house from your phone. So let's have a look at this. Here we have tile. Uh, extra wallet you'll see is there. If I press find, There you go. So you've probably seen this before, but the great thing about this is it fits perfectly in here. Um, and then I've also combined it with a driving license and also a donor card. Put those together, slide them in there. And not only does it look great and is really practical, uh, let's try and find this works through the metal fine i've not seen any problem with that i've got say a donor card a driving license and also this tile finder so if i lose my wallet i should be able to tell where i left it behind or if i've left it around the house i should be able to find it through the through the phone app and uh, it works really well and again it's nothing's moving anywhere it's a really compact well-made well-engineered package Exto is made by a company called Akini. They're based in California in America. So I ordered this from America online. It came in about two weeks. And um, I always find when ordering things from overseas, sometimes they just appear. Um, sometimes I get a call to say they're being held and they require a payment of duty and VAT. And I, I don't really know what, what triggers one way or the other. But I think in this case, it might have just appeared. I can see from the website, this uh, was funded on Kickstarter originally, and there's certainly some engineering talent that's gone to work on this. I believe actually their first manufacturing base, which was attached to their home, burnt down in the, uh, the fires in California around 2018. So I think they've had a bit of a, a roller coaster ride, but they're obviously up and running and um, making some great stuff. So this is now my go-to wallet of choice. Prior to that, I was using this uh, Bellroy Slim wallet. Let's just compare putting stuff in here. So you can get the cards in there. Notes are a little bit harder because they either, what do you do, put them in with, put them in with that. Then we've got the driving license that could, I suppose, go there. I'd normally want access to maybe a credit card on the outside so I get quick access to it. And then is there room for this in here? Yes, but it's a bit of a squeeze. So that actually looks more chunky than that. Um, so this is what I've been using and I've actually been really happy with this. It's kind of a minimalist wallet. Um, and it's worked well for me, but this this is working better. I can get access to the cards more easily. So if I want the cards out of this one, you have to pull on that. You normally have to take everything out and then sort of flip through it, pick pick what you want, and then. So it's not that convenient. Obviously, it's a bit easier if you're getting them out of the side pocket. But generally speaking, this is easier. And before that, I was using this wallet the Bellroy one now clearly you can fit loads of stuff in here but 
compare the size. The great thing about this is it will go in my front jeans pocket. Whereas this has to sit in my back pocket and the fact that it slides in and out of the back pocket so easily kind of lends itself to being nicked. Whereas as we know, if you've got something in your front jeans pocket, nobody's going to get their hand in there without you noticing. So, so for me, from a security point of view, this is a brilliant option. In terms of weight, looking at 38 grams. So it is super lightweight. So I ditched that originally for this and this went in my front jeans pocket so that was good but this I can get access to the cards more easily and it looks super cool and although I like the patina effect when it weathers a bit and starts to wear I also like the fact that this still looks brand new after six months of continuous use so um, yeah highly recommended wallet it looks cool it functions really well and if you look at the other reviews online there's a lot of people who specialize in wallet reviews who rate this as their number one wallet for 2020 you know when you look at it like this it it's maybe not as exciting as you think but once you start using it you realize that this is a, an engineering triumph and um, a really great wallet to use So there you have it, the Exto wallet from Akini, my current wallet of choice and easy to recommend. And if you like this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.